love my occupation. Well, that's a tradition for many families, the classic road trip. WTTW's new documentary, Chicago on Vacation with Jeffrey Bear, highlights many sensational spots just a few hours from the city. And here to tell us what we need to know is TV host and producer Jeffrey Bear. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Jeffrey. So tell us a little bit more about the show and the inspiration for it. Oh, I've been pitching this show for years. Uh, uh, the shows that I do on WTTW to, are, are about, you know, Chicago neighborhoods, mm -hmm. um, places that are sort of in our heart, right? Well, these iconic vacation places, you know, Door County, Mackinac Island, mm -hmm. Starved Rock, they're kind of extensions of our own hometowns, you know? And uh, so when we found this, as we put 7,000 miles on the WTTW wow. production van, yeah. 56 nights in a hotel or something, but everywhere we went, people were, and actually even here in the hallways, as people have been talking to me, it's like, oh, are you, are you doing, you know, are you doing the Dells? We always, are you doing the Northwoods? We yeah. always go to the Northwoods. So they really are like in our hearts. Yeah, you, you know? said you've been pitching this show for years. Was this just your secret way to take free vacations? Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, by the way, that, that shot you just saw was called a Chubby Mary. That's up in a fishing town in Leland, Michigan. It's a uh, Bloody Mary with a smoked chub. <laughs> really? Because they, it's a fishing village. No, this was not a vacation for us. That's the other thing I've been saying. It was a, it's about Chicago on vacation, but it was definitely not a vacation for us. Well, Jeffrey and I were talking earlier, and I was thinking you were talking about long road trips, no. but how many hours are you talking about, like away from Chicago? Well, the farthest we go is Mackinac Island, and that's a hike. That's six, eight, and more than that. It's about eight hours, ten right. hours from Chicago, but most of these places are you know, um, um, Lake Geneva is like just a less, it's almost, it's just an hour away. Right. Door County's maybe four hours. You know, it, there it's places you can go in a day. Right, and what, what stood out for you? What are the places that people have to go? They're looking at making this family road trip. You know, I, it's not really a travel show. I want to preface it by saying that. It's not really a travel show where we like give advice, travel advice, like, oh, you should go here, go there. But um, so for me, it was more like, uh, things that I never knew about these familiar places, like, like the stories behind them. But I guess I would say, um, you know, the Door County fish boil, you know, where they take like chunks of fish and like pounds of salt and put it in a cauldron and throw kerosene on the fire and it explodes. Uh, <laughs> and it's, it, you know, it's, it's kind of famously bland, but the story behind it is like, how would you feed it? dozens of lumberjacks quickly and get them back oh, to work, wow. right? Yeah. But th what surprised me was actually very good. Was I, it? Yeah, like this, you know, white fish was yeah. like pretty good. Well, you, you put know? all that salt in there. Which place <laughs> took your breath away? Well, Sleeping Bear Dunes. Like Where's the, that? So way up Michigan, the Michigan coast, about okay. two thirds of the way up, up the Michigan coast. Uh, kind of on a line with Traverse City, Michigan. Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, are these towering dunes? You know, they're they're 40 stories high, and you get up there and you see this magnificent sweeping view of Lake Michigan. It looks like it looks like the Caribbean. You know, it's crystal blue really? water. Just you can see all the way across the lake from up there, and you look down, and there's you know people climbing up these 40 story tall dunes, you, you just can't believe you're in the Midwest. Wow. Yeah, yeah. How, how exhausting is it on your body? Because you got to do some pretty wild stuff, right? You did like water slides and all kinds of stuff. So uh, uh, I know I don't look like it, but I'm in my 60s. My producer's <laughs> in his 30s. Oh, there we are. So, you know, I like water slides, but not this one. He, <laughs> oh, now, where like, is this at? This yeah, is in the is... Wisconsin Dells. There you go. That's oh, a, uh, I don't blame you, a, like a 10 story tall playground ladder. And but when I sit up here, I look like I had fun. Yeah. My back is all scratched up. <laughs> And then he goes, okay, time to shoot take two. Right. You know, so I had to climb 10 stories back up there and figure out how to go down that thing again. There you go. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we did a lot. We did, he, I had been water skiing once in my uh, 20s. Uh, I thought it wasn't so hard. Uh, this is still a Wisconsin Dells. They call it Lake, uh, they, they call this Las Vegas for tweens. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, oh, it's yeah. got everything. It's got the Trojan horse, the, yep. uh, you know, the Roman Coliseum. It is like Vegas. Um, but we, we shot a water skiing scene. I'm thinking, okay, I can water ski. Did take one, bam, couldn't get up on the skis. Take two, bam. <laughs> take three, I felt a muscle pull. I'm not going to tell you which one it was. <laughs> We I said, okay, we're, we're done. <laughs> and so we taped a scene where I'm just riding in an inner tube with a beer <laughs> being pulled by the boat. You know, this is more like it. And it all ended up on the cutting room floor anyway. So I right. injured myself for no good reason. Oh, goodness. Well, would you do it all over again? Would you do a part two of this? Stuff? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You also, you I weren't mean, injured that bad. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, it would not, I've got young kids and, uh, you know, it would not be really great. My wife and family, you know, I was away for 54 nights, you know. Well, you said wow. these are family trips. You should have taken them with you. Oh, well, you know, I could bring them along, but but I'm working all day long. Right, right. Yeah, right. yeah. Is this really to try to help inspire families, too, too to get on the road and take that family vacation? Sure, I yeah. think so. I mean, it's my, for me, mostly, it's it's about the nostalgia of the of the great, heyday of the road trip you know nowadays everybody's like looking at their the kids are looking at their screens yeah. in the back seat the interstate has homogenized road trips so you don't have that kind of mysterious oh what's around the next corner every exit you get off has the same chain motels the same fast food restaurants but what was great is like when you get past the exit you know the local color is still alive right. in these yeah. places hmm. and and they're still alive in our hearts, these places, you know? And um, so, sure, I mean, I would do it again yeah. in a heartbeat. Seeing in that opening clip reminded me of Clark Griswold, the National Lampoon's Vacation. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. Be sure to catch WTW's Chicago on Vacation with Jeffrey Bear. It premieres tomorrow at 7.30 p.m.